Well, hey there, Tim Freund, Tim Freund Fine Estates and Homes, and now with Angle & Volkers. Um, super thrilled to show you a beautiful listing in Los Angeles. We are just in a place called uh, Beverly Wood Adjacent, down on South Crescent Heights, 1711 South Crescent Heights. We are walking distance to a fabulous elementary school. We are walking distance to one of the highest regarded high schools in the entire country called uh, LACES, it's an acronym. Um, it's a magnet school, so not everybody gets in, but wow, great location. Super close to the freeways, super close to the shopping, off La Cienega, there's Target, Smart and Final, and of course you have all that LA has to offer. We're central to everything. Beautiful 1920s bungalow. I love this courtyard. It's got some great elements here. Original front door from 1932. Check it out, you're gonna love this house. The stats are a little over 14, almost 1,500 square feet. Two bedroom, one bath in the main house. We have a guest house in the back built out of the garage. Gosh knows when that was done. I have no idea, but it's awesome as one in one. Formal dining room. Notice this scalloping, this theme. According to my sellers, back in the day, back in the early 30s when this home was built, designers for the, mu for the movie studios would come out and practice on the new houses being built and doing set design and stage design. So look at the corbels here. You know, these are things that you won't find in every house. Each house is unique here. The wood floors are from 1932, step down living room. Look at how beautiful that is. We have very lovely period-esque pieces of contemporary lighting. This is a huge room, the living room here. Just love this. So one of the cool things about this particular home is what the seller has done to the kitchen. Now notice these floors, they're in a uh, uh, sort of Moorish theme and you have that carried into the backsplash, but look at these cabinets, look at how beautiful. Look at all those drawers. Now for those of you who know me, you know that I always say this, drawers are more expensive than doors, much more expensive. So when you see a lot of drawers, you know you're in a high-end kitchen. We have a Viking uh, wall oven, we have a Viking microwave, we have a Viking double drawer refrigerator, poor man's kosher, as I like to call them. We have a melee dishwasher, top of the line dishwasher anywhere. Beautiful wood windows. Look at the Bertazzoni 48 inch red range. I mean, how spectacular is that? The full backsplash and the commercial hood. You have Sub-Zero refrigerator behind those there. The laundry is in here, stackable. And then this is the pantry, and then of course this leads to the backyard. Awesome, fantastic, look at that, it's just so cool, right? And you've got these cabinets with this great lighting and so much to offer the formal dining room. Let me go ahead and take you through the hall. Notice the period pieces that are still intact, like the crystal hardware and the original doors, original built-ins here, built-in desk. So it's two bedroom, one bath, here's the bathroom. Look at how beautiful. Oh, there's your realtor, hey. Bright and white, freshly painted inside and out was this home. Fantastic, great glass tile on the floors, non-slip. That's really nice. Fantastic linens. Bedroom number two. It's actually a little larger than bedroom number one. It has a walk-in closet there in the corner and French doors. This would be your primary, I guess, is it's got the walk-in closet. Now, depending on what you wanted to do with the bathroom, you can make it adjoining. Uh, this way here, got the built-in vanity. Look at that cool vanity. Just excellent stuff. Um, really interesting ceiling with some texture here. Fantastic. Come on outside, let's take a look at the outside. Big yard. Look at this deck. Fantastic deck. Exterior was just painted. What a great deck. Look at the patio, look at the backyard. This is artificial turf. Look at the size of it, it's huge. Now why is there a fence right here? Because we have a guest house in the back. It's amazing, I'm gonna take you to it right now. There's the original garage. You see the old style carriage doors, I mean 1932, right? Not everybody had a car. And then that leads to there is the gate, and then on the other side of there is the is continued out. So um, awesome. Come on down the hall, the hall of the walk, and this is the entrance to the guest house. 
So the cool thing about this guest house is that it has an enclosed patio that is glass, the tongue and groove ceiling. It was a, just a covered patio before. And then here's the guest house built onto the back of the garage. Look at this, wall air conditioning is totally very pleasant in here. You have a kitchenette right here, range microwave, small sink, small fridge, wood windows. I mean, this is goes back in time, right? I mean, this is not uh, something that was just recently built. This thing's been here forever. Then what they did was they took this portion of the garage and they converted it into a bedroom. So it's a full one bedroom with a living area and kitchen and porch and its own bathroom, one in one guest house. It really is a granny flat. It's fantastic. No neighbor behind looking in. All one stories around these parts. Take a look at this back patio. It's fantastic also. Oh, how do we make that open? Oh, unlock it. That's a good start, Tim. And there you go. Beautiful patio. Look how pleasant this is. And it goes beyond into the backyard area where there's actually a storage shed and more patio. So if you have a tenant or if you have a family member who needs to be uh, on the same grounds as you, or adult child, perfect, absolutely amazing. Anyway, my name is Tim Freund. I am with Angle and Volkers, Tim Freund Fine Estates and Homes. So happy that you could join me in this exploration of this beautiful 1932 Spanish bungalow, 1711 South Crescent Heights in the city of Los Angeles. Find us on the web, DM us, ask us questions, call for a personal showing, realestateconversation.com is my blog. Love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching.